Hello everyone, today we're going to be doing a couple of things to this design to make it easier to create responsive versions, both the tablet and mobile version of this design. Now, most of the things that really do need to be components are components. So for example, these objects right here. And the one step I've done beforehand is I've ensured that these components have constraints on them where the image themselves are in the center. So I've got this object here. If I have to copy it, you'll see that the illustration stays in the center of the box while the box itself just stretches as much as, as you need it to. All right, so let's get started. The first thing we're gonna want to do is we're gonna create our bottom level auto layout. So that means selecting these objects, these two objects here. We're gonna create an auto layout by holding shift and tapping A, shift A, shift A. Now we've got three auto layouts. They all have the same exact size, that's 42. Let's change that to 40. And there we go. Now let's make another auto layout. So we've got this frame 38, 37, 36. We're gonna make another auto layout by holding shift and pressing A. And there you've got frame 39 and within it, you've got these individual ones. You know, you'll see frame 39 is a horizontal direction layout and these three are a vertical. And that's basically the rhythm that we're going to use for everything going forward, right? So these two, these three, auto layouts, these three, auto layout, these three, auto layout, these three, auto layout. Take these two, auto layout, auto layout. And uh, that's it. Yes. Okay. Now we can just take all of our core objects here, all of our content objects. We can create an auto layout for those. Next, we're going to want to have a bit of a margin for our content. So let's create that margin here. Let's just go 100. And that should fit just fine. And then we take the entire frame. And let's make an auto layout for that as well. Right, so now it says zero. And that's fine because it's saying it's zero between the header and the main content box within the main content box there are five pieces yeah five pieces that makes sense one two three four and five fantastic by the way for all of these little skulls over here what i've done is i've used icomoon.io to create my own custom font which basically just has one character so this is actually the number one so if you click on <laughs> if you if you change this font it'll just change to the number one. Um, you can do that on icomoon.io for free. It takes about two minutes, uh, really easy to do. And I did that because when I tried to do it using vectors, you know, just using these individual objects, it basically nearly killed my computer. And I don't know if you can hear the fan in the background, but my computer does not, you know, does not deal well with 10,000 of anything on the screen. So let's take this object here and let us, make a tablet version right so we're going to make a tablet version so let's call this tablet and let us okay so what you'll notice is the width here for this tablet version is not allowing you to change now you what you can do is you can stretch it by just pushing it to the side here and you'll notice immediately that this width is now accessible as an option so you can change that to 768 and there we go okay now let's try and squish this and let's see what happens probably bad things to be honest yeah there we go okay so let us say it is fixed width but it is going to hug the contents within this object itself here this must be fixed width and this must hug the contents all right, the first thing we want to do is we want to make all of our horizontals into verticals. So we want these three paragraphs to be one after the other. So let's just change that to vertical. We change these two to vertical. We change these two to vertical. You're seeing the pattern. All right, then let's squish this. Let's see if this works. Now we're doing this manually, but what I'd like to do actually is instead of saying fixed width here, I'm going to say full container. And that's going to basically make it 
fit to the exact size that we have outlined. So we've said 100 margin to the left, 100 margin to the right. And if we were to adjust that 100 margin and say actually on a tablet, we'd like that to be 40, then everything is going to adjust to be that size. Now the next step is let's make sure that everything is filling the container as much as possible, right? So as we said, this is a text box. These skulls are a text box. Everything on this page pretty much should actually just fill the container. That way you're gonna get the right size without having to do much admin. So let's say full container on this level, and then let's go into the level below by hitting enter and let's fill the container on this level. Then let's hit enter again and let's fill the container. And there we have it. Now it is all stretching quite nicely. So as long as you're telling it to fill container all the way throughout the different levels of auto layout, it should in theory fill the container like that. This gap is a little bit big now, so I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it. So I'm gonna select these three together in this frame 39. I'm going to hit enter i'm going to change this to 24 uh, and then i'm going to just individually you know go into these items here actually i can just select these two hit enter and now i've got each individual type of energy um, you know these groups as an individual object let's say this needs to fill the container then within it each of those objects should fill the container and there you have it now they're all perfectly filling the container. Everything should be good. Yeah, looking good. And you know what? We're not even gonna have to change anything for the mobile version. So the mobile version, which I've created here, is exactly the same process, if not easier. So let's make a copy here. Let's change this to mobile. Uh, let's say that our mobile version is gonna be 375 and then we just need to make sure that we are saying and then we just need to make sure that our content box is the appropriate size now obviously the text here is going to have to get smaller so if you hold command shift and comma you will be able to make the text smaller so that'll be good all right, lovely. And that is starting to take shape. I think we are good. I mean, that's a bit weird, but you know, minor thing. And all of the skulls look great. And there we have it. Maybe one thing I would wanna change here, maybe I should just explain this one quickly. So this sources component that I have here, this is essentially an auto layout where I have this object in the middle here which is its own component and i've given it the re the resizing constraint of hug contents hug contents so it's always going to be the exact size of the text with the margin selected etc and the rest of the space is filled in by these lines so i've asked both this line and this line over here to fill the container but I've said there needs to be a space in between a 24. So let's scale that down on the one here. Let's scale that down to 16. And then we'll at least see a little bit more of that, uh, of, that, um, of that line. In fact, you know what? I think the margins here, probably a little, probably a little big for uh, mobile. So let's make it 24. And there you see everything just sort of automatically works out in quite a magical way. Now you can imagine, right, if you're being asked, you know, let's say, well, I wanna see all the pretty pictures up front. Let's say your client has that request. They wanna see all the pictures up front. You just select those objects, you drag them up, and there you go. Simple as that, right? There are so many benefits to doing also layouts like this. I've been doing it for about a year where I've just done, you know, everything I can in auto layouts. Last thing here, let's just, make this text a little bit smaller and there we go there you have an auto layout for mobile tablet and desktop and they all seem to be working pretty well and are all auto layouted quite nicely and everything seems to be 
pretty cool. Again, thanks so much for clicking on my video. I hope that you have learned something and that you have great success in whatever you're doing with Figma and anywhere else. All the best.